ओके निशान सो लेट अस स्टार्ट इस नाइट इंटरव्यू फॉर फ्यूड मैकेनिक्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल जस्ट टेल मी व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द विस्कोसिटी इंडेक्स um so viscosity index refers to the scaling that refers that tells us about how the viscosity will vary with the temperature conditions changing so it tells us about how the viscosity is varying with the uh, temperature changes that are being taking place okay and how do you classify the fluids on the basis of viscosity so uh, uh, on basis of viscosity yes sir um uh, uh, i'll have to read upon this so on this uh, i know about the type of fluids uh, uh sir uh, uh, do you mean about the apparent viscosity okay, concept here just just tell me the uh, name of the type of fluids sir uh, basically the fluids are classified on the two basis uh, one are the fluids that uh, follow the newtonian law and other ones are the type that do not follow the newton newtonian law of the viscosity so there are basically two classes that is the newtonian fluid and the non newtonian fluids okay just uh, draw a graph between the shear stress and time and show me the all the type of fluids um sir uh, can i take a pen paper yes please? yes 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 sir. A graph so between shear stress and time. Ah, uh, sir, for both the uh, both the types, na no? Newtonian fluid yes, and non-Newtonian. Yes, for fluid. all the for all the fluids. Okay, sir. Between the shear stress and time. Okay, sir. Are it visible? Just turn off your blur background. Um, one minute, sir. In video yeah, setting, sorry. just turn off the blur background. Sir, just a second. If it's happening right yes. now. Yes, yes. The background is blur, na. That is why it is it is not visible to okay. me. Okay. Um, for how I do it. Um, just enter into the video setting and just turn off the blur background. Background is okay. No. Ah, now it's okay. Now show me. So okay, so it is constant in the case for the Newtonian fluids, and it is yes, varying sir. for the. It is varying for the type of fluids. Non-Newtonian uh, fluids. Non-Newtonian fluids, yes, sir. Okay, and what about the pseudo plastic and tellurian? Sir, uh, they are in time dependent. They uh, here the apparent viscosity changes with the help of the shear stress. For example, mm. uh, if I talk about the pseudo plastic fluids, so if the shear stress will be increasing, so the uh, uh, apparent viscosity will be decreasing. And uh, in the case of dilution, if the shear stress is increasing, the apparent viscosity is increasing. In that okay. case, sir. Okay, explain me the uh, cavitation phenomena. Sir, cavitation refers to the phenomena when the static pressure of the liquid uh, gets low below the vapor pressure of the liquid, leading to the formation of the small vapor bubbles. And when this vapor bubble comes in the vicinity of the higher pressure areas, these vapor bubbles starts to burst, leading to the formation of the cavities on the surface of the impeller, uh, which directly affects the pump performance. Okay. In which hydraulic devices where do you find the cavitation phenomena? Sorry, sir. In which hydraulic devices did you find this phenomena? Uh, sir, mostly this uh, phenomena can be seen in the case of pumps, particularly centrifugal pumps. We can see this cavitation phenomena taking place. How do we avoid the cavitation in centrifugal pumps? Uh, sir, for avoiding the cavitation, the major even uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, uh, do the change in the pump setting so as to increase the NPFH available. Uh, mm -hmm. So for that, I think we need to increase the suction line diameter, which will be reducing the uh, losses of the friction taking place. And by this way, let us suppose. Can... Let yes, us suppose in the case of centrifugal pump, it is not possible to reduce the temp. Uh, it is not possible to control the temperature, uh, the absolute pressure. Okay, the absolute pressure is going to be less than vapor pressure. In that case, how do you? Uh, Solve this issue. Um, sir, one thing what I can do is that I mentioned that I'll be uh, increasing the diameter of the suction line diameter. Uh, second thing, uh, sir, what I can try to think now is that I'll try to lower down the temperature at which this operation is taking place. But I won't think that would be quite economical if I you talk cannot about change, You cannot change the temperature of the fluid. Um, sir, so sorry, sir. Then I'll have to. Uh, I I'm not aware about this. Okay. Okay. What is the difference between the Bernoulli's equation and the Navier's Fourier equation of motion? Sir, uh, basically, this uh, Bernoulli equation is being derived, uh, or you can say one of the cases of the Navier's Fourier equation only, whereas the Bernoulli equation talk about the conservation of the pressure head, energy head, uh, and the velocity head at particular point on a streamline. Okay. And what type of forces are included in these equations? Um, sir, when I talk about Bernoulli, um. 
Sir, I'm not sure about the uh, Navier Stokes equation, uh, but I can tell about the forces that we are taking uh, that we are taking into consideration the, in the Bernoulli case, the pressure force is taking place, and also the uh, energy that is the velocity, uh, the kinetic energy and the potential energy that is the datum that we are considering in, in the case of Bernoulli. That is okay. These are the energy, the pressure energy, kinetic energy, pressure energy. But what what forces are there? Um, but I'm not able to recall this at this point. Okay. Moment. What is the difference between the vortex flow and the rotational flow? Do you know what is meaning of what is the meaning of vortex flow? Sir, a uh, vortex flow, as the name suggests, it refers something to the shape of the vortex formations. Um, I have read this, so but I'm not able oh, to recall. So that's it. Okay. okay. What is uniform flow? Sir, uniform flow refers to the flow, um, uh, which basically um, uh, the flow is um, the flow is constant with when we talk when we consider the same with respect to the flow condition taking place. Uh, when I talk about uniformity, that means that the particular the quantity of the flow that is taking place from one part of uh, pipe to the other pipe, this is same. So here we talk about the uniformity. Okay. Let us say we have a converging pipe and the fluid is flowing with a constant discharge. Constant okay. discharge? Okay, sir. Yes. In that case, what kind of acceleration will be present in the fluid particles? Sir, uh, both convective and temporal acceleration will be present there. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Uh, because... Uh, sir, you are uh, so sorry. Sir, you have said constant flow, right? I am just saying we have a converging pipe and the fluid is flowing with a constant discharge. In that case, what type of acceleration will be present? Sir, both. Uh, yes, sir. Converging and temporal acceleration. Uh, uh, convective think, and temporal acceleration. Both. Think about it care carefully. Sir, um. Yes, sir. I think. Uh, okay, uh, just just tell me the type of flow. Which type of flow? Uh, which type of flow is going to be there, sir? Um, which type of flow? I'm I'm not understanding. No, it, it is going to be a steady flow, unsteady flow, uniform or non-uniform flow. So the flow, uh, the flow will be steady in nature. Steady uh, in okay, nature. then time variation won't be there for temporal acceleration. Won't be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah temporal acceleration will not be there. Okay, uh, just tell me one thing. Uh, let me see. In the fluid mechanics, we normally study the different different types of dimensional number like Rho number, Weber number, and Reynolds numbers. Okay. Why do we use the inertia forces in every dimensional number? But, we have uh, inertia force common in all the numbers. Why so? Uh, inertial forces. Um, inertial forces used. Um, so, uh, sir, uh, I don't uh, know the thing. I'll have to read this. Okay. How do you define the Reynolds number? The Reynolds number is defined as the ratio of the inertial forces uh, and the, vector force, the ratio of the inertial force and vector forces uh, inside the fluid. And this basically tells about the flow condition that is whether the flow is uh, laminar or a uh, turbulent flow. But when we talk about the, uh, especially about the pipe flow cases. Okay, what is the range of Reynolds number for laminar turbulent flow in case of flow over flat plate? Uh, sir, for a flat plate? So till 5 lakhs, the flow will be laminar, and after the uh, Reynolds number exceeds the uh, 5 lakh limit, then the flow will be turbulent in the paper. And the what about in the case of pipe? But, uh, in the play, uh, till, uh, when the Reynolds number is below uh, 2000, uh, then the flow will be uh, Reynolds in, uh, laminar in nature. Then between 2000 to 4000, the flow will be in the transmission range, and after the 4000, we'll be having a turbulent condition. Okay, let us suppose we have a flat plate. Okay, and if I yes, place sir. the flat plate in a, let us say, flowing fluid, in that case, how does the shear stress varies from the leading edge up to the trailing edge? Mm -hmm. Let us say the flow is laminar. Sir, can you please repeat the question? If we have a flat plate and the fluid is flowing uh, over it, okay, and the flow is laminar in nature, in that case, how does the uh, shear stress varies from the leading edge to the trailing edge? Leading edge to the trailing edge, shear stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, in the lambda region, I'm not sure uh, if the shear, but I think the shear stress profile in the, till the trailing edge will be constant in that case, and then, we'll, then it will be start to vary. Um, but I'm not remembering uh, this. Okay, that is okay. Okay, uh, just tell me one thing. What is the difference between the friction drag and the pressure drag? No, sir, I, I do not know. That. Do you know what is the meaning of a uh, streamlined body and a plug body? Sorry? What is the meaning of streamlined bodies and the bluff body? 
no sir i'll uh, i'm reading i'm just uh, i'm reading this so for the surface okay that is okay okay just tell you what is surface tension the surface tension of the extra pressure that is prevent on the surface of the fluid due to the unbalanced forces on the surface of the fluid that is the phenomenon of the surface tension there's the extra okay. balance extra force that is being prevent that is that isn't balanced by the other fluid particles so that leads to the cause of surface tension on the surface okay and okay just tell me one thing uh, is pressure scalar quantity or vector quantity sir uh, pressure is a scalar sir i think pressure is a tensor quantity डायरेक्शनिट्यूडर <laughs> um get me a definite answer na whether it is a scalar vector tensor quantity sir i would say tensor tensor sure yes, so sir. so can you explain me why it is why you are saying it as a tensor quantity um, sir um, actually i have read this sir i am not able to but I, sir i am damn sure it is it is in neither its vector nor its scalar i am remembering this that i have read this somewhere about the tensor quantities that's why i commented upon this but uh, i'll surely i have to read this okay Okay, just explain me the Pascal law. The Pascal law uh, basically tells that the, when the pressure is applied, it is equally distributed in all the directions. So that's the basic definition of the Pascal law. It and is the pre- equally have... distributed in all the directions. Okay, so basically Pascal law gives you a proof regarding the scalar nature of the scalar nature. Okay, because it doesn't have a defined direction, it is equal in all the directions. That is why we consider pressure as a scalar quantity. It is not a vector quantity, neither it is a tensor quantity. If you are saying it is a tensor quantity, then also mention that it is a zero or a tensor quantity. And zero or a tensor quantity means it is a scalar quantity. Okay. Okay. Sir. Just remember this. Zero or a tensor quantity is basically a scalar quantity. Okay. okay you don't uh, mention it specifically as a zero or vector quantity means sure, first order tensor quantity. Okay. Okay. okay sir, just tell me one thing. Yeah. Explain me the working principle of the Peter tube. Sir, uh, in the Peter tube, basically, uh, Peter tube sir basically works on the principle of the Bernoulli equation, and the main aim of the uh, Peter tube is to calculate the uh, velocity of the fluid that uh, we are we want to know. So basically, what happens is when the when we use the Peter tube, there is basically it consists of the two pipings. One when we connect the Peter tube to the flowing fluid, uh, the uh, when the fluid enters through the Peter tube, at the particular moment the sta- uh, velocity of the fluid gets zero. And we see the pressure, uh, and we see the liquid driving in the Peter tube. So there will be two variables that will involve. That is the static pressure, and then is the dynamic pressure. The dynamic pressure will be signified as the extra pressure that is above the static pressure, uh, due to the velocity is getting zero. So as we conserve the uh, equation, that is the Bernoulli equation. So since the velocity is getting zero, uh, it is getting compensated by the rise in the uh, height of the fluid uh, because of the uh, extra pressure. Mm. And by this, sir, we are able to apply the conservation law. That is the static pressure plus the dynamic pressure, and we equate the same to the stagnation pressure. And then we are able to calculate the velocity of the fluid by calculating the differential pressure that we are getting at the particular uh particular point of the fluid flow. Okay, and where do you find the stagnation point in the Peter tube? Sorry, sir. Where do you find the stagnation point in a Peter tube? So where uh, at the particular moment where the velocity is getting zero at that okay. point we would say that that's the tension okay. point. How the Peter tube is different from a static Peter tube? Peter tube and uh, how the Peter tube is different from a static Peter tube? So uh, this, this I'm not knowing. Okay. Okay. Let us suppose if you have a simple pipe. Okay, and you measure if you want to measure the velocity of the liquid in the pipe. And if I provide you a simple Peter tube, is it possible to measure the velocity? Yes or no? Sir, uh, can you please rep- uh, repeat the situation, sir? Let us suppose if you have a pipe, simple pipe, and the fluid is flowing with some velocity, and you know if you want to calculate the velocity here. And if I provide you with a simple Peter tube here, then is it possible to measure the velocity? No, sir. Uh, we won't be able to calculate the differential pressure, so I don't think you we will will be able to calculate the velocity out there. ओके दैट इज ओके ओके निशान ले सो लेट मी प्रोवाइड माय फीडबैक सी आपके पास यहां पे ना फ्लूइड मैकेनिक्स की जो बेसिक बेसिक आपको फिर से रिवीजन करने की रिक्वायरमेंट है जैसे कि कैविटेशन जो आपने मुझे एक्सप्लेन करा वो ठीक था उसमें जो लोग कोई इशू नहीं है 
कैविटेशन को कंट्रोल कैसे करते हो क्या क्या प्रिकॉशंस आप लेके चलते हो उसको आपको थोड़ा सा स्टडी करना पड़ेगा आपने एनथेसिस की जो कंडीशन बताई थी वो ठीक है उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ठीक है जैसे मैंने आपको बोला कि अगर आप प्रेशर को कंट्रोल नहीं कर पा रहे हो अगर वेपर प्रेशर बिलो जाएगा तो ऐसे केस में वो क्या करना चाहिए उस केस में कैविटेशन को तो आप अवॉइड कर नहीं सकते ठीक है ना उसके अफेक्ट को मिनिमाइज करने की कोशिश करोगे तो ऐसे में आप क्या करते हो कैविटेशन एडजस्टमेंट मटेरियल का यूज करते हो ठीक है थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखना तो ये ओके बेसिक्स तो चलो आपको थोड़ा सा क्लियर था लेकिन जो अंडरस्टैंडिंग वाला जो पार्ट था जैसे आपने बनोलेज इक्वेशन एवियस ऑफ इक्वेशन से विथ कम्युनिकेशन जी पूछा था उसके बाद थोड़ा सा देखो आप बस क्या है बाउंड्री लेयर थ्योरी को थोड़ा सा पढ़ो आपके पास यहां पे क्या होती है ठीक है स्टीम लाइन बॉडी ब्लॉक बॉडी क्या है वो आपको पता होना चाहिए था ठीक है और इसी के साथ जो आपके पास मैंने क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछा था एक मैंने आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा जिसमें आपको प्रॉब्लम आ रही थी बनोली सिंह हाँ कि कौन कौन सी फोर्सेस आप कंसिडर करते हो सबसे पहले ध्यान रखना प्रेशर फोर्सेस जब मैं पूछा कि कौन कौन सी फोर्सेस एनर्जीज डिफरेंट होती है फोर्सेस डिफरेंट ऑफ कोर्स होती है प्रेशर फोर्सेस एंड ग्रेविटी फोर्सेस आप कंसिडर करते हो बनोली सिचुएशन में लेकिन आप बनो प्रेशर ग्रेविटी एंड विस्कस फोर्सेस आप कंसिडर कर रहे हो स्पेसिफिकली नेवल्स ऑफ सिचुएशन में तो मेरे को ये ना बाद में फिर थोड़ा थोड़ा याद आ गया था बट तब तक मैं ब्लेंडर कर चुका था ठीक है ना और इस केस में आपके पास कौन कौन सी एनर्जीज है वो डिफरेंट बात है आपके पास और जब मैं आपसे पूछ रहा हूँ कि आपके पास यहाँ पे साइड साइड डिमेंशन नंबर में इनर्शिया फोर्स क्यों कंसिडर कर रहे हो एक्चुअली मैं वहाँ पे डीएल एम्बर प्रिंसिपल का यूज कर रहे हो इनर्शिया फोर्सेज एक डीएल एम्बर प्रिंसिपल को इनर्शिया फोर्सेज एक तरह से रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है सम ऑफ ऑल दी फोर्सेज बेसिकली वही आपका रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है तो एक इनडायरेक्टली आप करना क्या चाह रहे हो जैसे आप रेनोल नंबर की जब स्टडी कर रहे हो इनर्शिया बाय विस्कस फोर्स तो वहाँ पे आप विस्कस फोर्स के विस्कस फोर्स की डोमिनेंसी को चेक कर रहे हो एज कम्पेयर टू ऑल दी फोर्सेज सेम वे में जब फ्रॉड नंबर आप पढ़ रहे हो फ्रॉड नंबर में हम इनर्शिया बाय ग्रेविटी पढ़ रहे हैं तो ग्रेविटी फोर्सेज डोमिनेंसी आप चेक कर रहे हो एज कम्पेयर टू अदर फोर्सेज ठीक है तो एक चीज का ध्यान रखना तो देखो अगर आप अपने इंटरव्यू में लैक करें तो एक ही चीज आप लैक करोगे वो है टेक्निकल पार्ट में टेक्निकल पार्ट को आपको अच्छे से स्टडी करना पड़ेगा ठीक है ना उसमें आप लैक कर सकते हो तो उसमें थोड़ा मिस्टेक मत करना क्योंकि डिलीवरी पार्ट ठीक है टेक्निकल पार्ट में लैक कर दूंगी तो उसको थोड़ा अच्छे से पढ़ लो एक बार क्योंकि आईओसीएल में ज्यादा डीप में पूछता नहीं है बेसिक बेसिक थी पूछता है वापस वो बेसिक की अंडरस्टैंडिंग सिंपल वर्ड में आपको एक्सप्लेन करनी चाहिए क्योंकि इंटरव्यू में चाहिए शॉर्ट आंसर ज्यादा शॉर्ट भी नहीं बिल्कुल टू द पॉइंट आंसर लेकिन करेक्ट आंसर चाहिए बिल्कुल ठीक है ना क्योंकि आपके जो अभी कुछ आंसर है वो थोड़े टू द पॉइंट नहीं है ठीक है थोड़ा घुमा घुमाने वाले क्वेश्चन आप आंसर प्रोवाइड करते हैं तो वो नहीं होना चाहिए आपके पास ठीक है चाहे वो कोई भी क्वेश्चन क्यों ना हो कोई डाउट हो किसी क्वेश्चन में भी सर आप मेरी रिक्वेस्ट है सर आप वाला इंटरव्यू आप पब्लिश मत करना मैं दो तीन दिन वापस आऊंगा आई विल करेक्ट द थिंग्स ऑफ ओके कोई इशू नहीं है ठीक है सर एक्चुअली जैसे फिर मैं केमिकल इंजीनियर से हूं मेरा जो बैकग्राउंड है सर कैमिकल क्या आप ठीक है ठीक है सर कैमिकल क्या आपने पूछे मेर